And if you still want more power than this, the Mango Power E Portable Power Station also supports 240V split phase output. If you want to do this, you'll need to use the E Plus connection cable to connect the two units via the E Plus link ports on the side. Then once you've done that, you're going to want to connect an additional Mango Power E battery to each unit via the same method we explained a moment ago. Next we need to use M-Socket Pro. Connect the M-Socket Pro to the 30AAC input port of Mango Power E. After that, turn both the stations on and use the touchscreen on one of them to toggle the AC from off to on. From here, you should now be able to get output power which has been doubled. But no matter how much power you have, you're always going to want to conserve it as much as possible. So that's why, whenever you're done using the Mango Power E portable power station, you'll want to press that power button again, this time holding it down for 3 seconds, so as to switch it off. And that ends today's tutorial guys. We hope this has been useful for you, 